Happy Halloween, head squeezers. Now, we all know that the Halloween festivities wouldn't be the same with the old famous jack-o'-lantern made from a special Halloween pumpkin. Well, especially in America, because I know you guys love using your pumpkins to make a jack-o'-lantern. So we thought we'd take a demo from the awesome, outstanding, just words cannot even describe, science demo genius king, Steve Spangler. Now in this one, it just involves basically blowing up a jack-o'-lantern. Well, not blowing it up, kind of blowing out his face in a very clever way. We're gonna use a substance called calcium carbide. Now this substance, when you add water to it, actually effervesces, bubbles and fizzes, and it gives off two different products, two different reactants. One of them is acetylene, which is a form of gas, which is flammable, highly flammable, which is good for what we're gonna do. And the other thing it gives off is calcium cyanamide. And that is basically something else that we don't even need to worry about in this demo right here. I'm gonna take a bit of water and I'm gonna stick it in the pumpkin and I'm gonna put the calcium carbide inside that. And then I'm gonna set light to the gas that it gives off. It is very important at this point to say, don't do this at home with extra warning signs involved. So safety is paramount. So get the goggles on. And that's why Steve's the man. To give you a better idea of why that happens, let me take a little bit and put it out there and show you exactly what happens when water meets calcium carbide. So here's a bit here. Miners used to use this and they also used to use it for headlights of motor vehicles. So here's a little bit of water on a calcium carbide. You see it fizzing, effervescing. Look what happens when you light that now. Now that's pretty flammable stuff. Now obviously in mines it's not the best thing because uh, methane can get released in certain mines and explosions. So now they use LED lights and stuff. Now remember there's always a ratio between the two. When it runs out of water, the reaction stops, stops giving off gas. But if it runs out of the actual calcium carbide, it stops giving off gas. So there we go, that's what's happening in there. But let's not just stop there. Let's go a bit further than that. Let's try it on some of these big man elusive pumpkins. Yes. Subscribe, or that will happen to you. Oh. 